Jackie in the air. Like many of you, I just got the iPhone 16 Pro on Friday. And for many, it's the new touch camera control or the AI that's important upgrade. But for me, it's the Wi-Fi 7. On the previous iPhone 15, only the Pro model supported 6 GHz with 6E. This time around, all of the iPhone 16s support Wi-Fi 7 and 6 GHz. I have two of the best Wi-Fi 7 access points to test with, the Ruckus R770 and the Ingenious ECW536. Check out the Wi-Fi 7 capabilities of the iPhone 16 Pro. Now one of the big features of Wi-Fi 7 is multi-link operation where it can use multiple bands to combine the throughput and add resiliency to the network. And we can see from the Ingenious Cloud that the iPhone 7 is connected on both 2.4 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz at the same time. And it looks like the 2.4 gigahertz is there just in case it's not providing a lot of extra data at one megabit. One of the other big upgrades to Wi-Fi 7 is 320 megahertz channel width at six gigahertz. So I'm using my Osseum Clarity Spectrum Analyzer at six gigahertz, and it looks like the iPhone 16 Pro only supports 160 megahertz wide channel width. Although we'd see much faster speeds if we had 320 megahertz wide channels, in reality, when you're deploying in a multi-AP situation, you're gonna be using 80 or 160 megahertz channels anyway. First, I tested the Ingenious ECW536 on my local 10 gigabit network with open speed test. I got 1.7 gig down and 1.4 gig up. Now this is more than I saw on the iPhone 15 Pro with Wi-Fi 6E and maybe in part to the multi-link giving it a little bit extra throughput. Some improvements in the Wi-Fi 7 protocol and encoding. Next, I texted with the Ruckus R770 and I was able to get 1.4 gig down and 1.1 gig up with open speed test. Looking in the Ruckus cloud, we can see that the 2.4 and the six gigahertz radio was in use for this client. So what does this mean for internet speeds? If you have an iPhone 16 and a Wi-Fi 7 capable access point, you'll get over a gigabit of throughput. So if you're paying for that one gigabit plus internet connection, and you just bought the new iPhone, you really owe it to yourself to upgrade to Wi-Fi 7. In the iPhone 16 will take advantage of those speeds. Just think about iCloud backups, how much data that's moving in a day, or how many photos and videos that you're backing up over the cloud. Blazing fast Wi-Fi with the iPhone 16 Pro, as long as you have a good Wi-Fi 7 access point, like the Ingenious ECW536 or Ruckus R770. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Wi-Fi and tech products. <laughs>